Hello, this is Unity, and what I have here is a project which I called Day One that I saved on my hard drive. And this is the project when it just opens up, there's nothing in it really. I just want everybody to note this here is the scene window, that tab right there, we're going to be using that. Also, we're going to be using the hierarchy window over here that shows what objects are in my scene. And right now in my scene, I have a camera and a light, but I have no 3D objects. Then this window here is the inspector. When I pick something from the scene window, the inspector shows the properties of that object in the scene. So if I pick main camera, this shows the properties of the main camera. If I pick directional light, this shows the properties of the directional light. Okay. And here's the project window. This shows any of the um, files that I have in my assets folder of my project. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a terrain to the scene. So I go to the hierarchy window. Um, I select untitled. That's the level I want to add uh, my object to. Um, the reason it says untitled is because I haven't saved my scene yet. So let me do that. Let me save scene. And I'm just, ooh. Okay, Unity, day one assets. The name of my scene is going to, I'm just going to call it my scene. You know, call it whatever you want. Okay, so to my scene, I'm going to add a terrain object. So down here in, um, select my scene, right click. Then I have game object, 3D object, terrain. Click that. And bam, a terrain shows up in my um, object. The terrain right now is flat. It's just like a, a flat sheet, a flat blanket. Um, I can move this around a little bit. Let me just pick the hand. And with the hand, I could hold the mouse and kind of move this up and down or zoom in, move this up and down. I can also zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. I can zoom in and out and I could do the alt key and the left mouse button and I could move the scene in 3D space, moving it around like that. And I could change where I'm looking, I could just take the mouse, hold the right button, and it's just like I am changing where I'm looking in the scene. All right, so here I have the terrain, and what I want to do is flat, but I want a terrain with like some hills and mountains. So we're going to learn how to do that. Go to the hierarchy window, um, select terrain, and then in this terrain slot over here, there are some buttons. You click the first button, and this will allow you to raise or lower the terrain. All right, these are the brushes I could choose from, different shapes and everything. And for whatever brush I pick, uh, I basically get to be able to pick the brush size, either really, really small, and you can see here that blue light is the size of the brush, or really, really big. And there's the size of my brush. Um, let me just look straight down at my terrain. So I'm going to hold the Alt, left mouse, and I'm just going to angle this so I can look down. Then I'm going to grab the hand and pull it down a little. Okay. I'm on the terrain. Pick the paint. No, pick this razor lower terrain. I'm going to pick one of the brushes. I'll just pick this circle and I can start drawing out some hills. The longer I hold the mouse button down on a spot, the higher the hill will go. Okay. And then, um, like I said, I can pick different brushes. Let's see what this star shape kind of looks like. And I can just keep clicking the same spot. <sighs> rub, 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 and it kind of comes up like a mountain. Um, I can pick any brush. I can pick any size for the brush. The second button here is a paint to a certain height. So that will like, whatever brush I pick, it will paint just to that height. So here it is, the height is right now set to 50. And um, I'm gonna pick something, a brush here. And what that means is like, it'll keep rising up, but then when it gets to 50, you see how it kind of plateaus out and flattens out? It won't go past 50. Um, I'll just pick another brush over here to do that with. This one, things rise up, but then when they get to 50, they kind of stop. Let's kind of make a plateau. Okay, so now I got some heights. 
Then there's the smooth button. What the smooth button does, it, it smooths out a height of something. So let me pick this brush this time. And if something's kind of jagged or bumpy, um, like say this area here, I could just use the smooth button. Oh, and it's gonna smooth out the height for me. Maybe if I want to make it not so bumpy, let me set the opacity. Is it the opacity I gotta set? Yeah, let me set the opacity a little stronger so you can see the effect a little better. Or say like over here where it's kind of jaggy, I could smooth it out. It kind of looks like it's melting away. See, now it's smoother. All right. Um, now just to show you that these are 3D mountains that I made, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and I'm just gonna look at it more from the side. And let me move this up a little bit. And as you can see, boom, I made these 3D hills and mountains and valleys. Okay. Now what's the next thing you're gonna do? We'll find out in the next video. Mm -hmm.